Thanks. Um, so my question for you is, um, anything that particularly put you in the mindset for Gareth's character to get you into that, so he's kind of psychotic the way he is and everything, not I mean, in a good way, but yes, anything that got you there? Yeah, that's a good question, but uh, honestly, that wasn't something that I tried to focus on too much, getting into the mindset of a guy who would, who would uh, go to these lengths to survive. Because the thing, and the reason why I didn't feel like it was important to, to go there was because the context, the world that these characters live in, and the context of this character being a cannibal and literally cooking somebody in front of them, that's all in the script, and that's all in, in the sets, and and the art department and the direction, they take care of all that, so that does the heavy lifting. For the actor, it's more about why, what am I trying to accomplish in the scene? Because Garrett doesn't think of himself as a psychopath or crazy, you know what I mean? No, I do. Right, so, so it wasn't important for me to think too much about like, what, what do I have to do mentally to go there? It was about thinking about what am, why am I in the scene? Why is, Gareth, why is Gareth cooking Bob in front of him and eating him? Well, the answer is that he's trying to scare him and intimidate him. We find out that he's not there to kill Bob. You know, he wants to terrify him and then let him go and send him back to Rick and the group so that he will show them what happened and that they will freak out and scatter and it'll be easier to hunt, you know? So for me, it was just about how would I intimidate? So how would I go about intimidating somebody in that setting? Um, and that's what you want to focus on. The, the you know, because look, like I've said it before, you're gonna look crazy no matter what you do or say if you're eating somebody's leg in front of them. You're gonna look nuts. You don't have to try to look crazy. You're, you're going to look crazy. You know, so so the writing and, and the and the and the, uh, the work that the art department did and the directors did that that did a lot of the heavy lifting in that regard. And then I was free to just focus on the intention, you know, Gary's intention with that scene. And um, I think that's always the, the most important part because that's when you get the really good real stuff out, out of a scene. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. It's a good question. As you know, you definitely added to my favorite villain plus. I love him. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> so I want to ask you, you know, there's so 